Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Yun, and this afternoon we're gonna be milking cows. We milk twice a day. Morning milking usually starts around 4.15, and the afternoon milking, we like to hang them under at 3.45 in the afternoon. It's not exactly 12 hours. You should have the equal amount of time in between each milking. We just like to start a little bit early, cheat a little bit in the afternoon, so we're not in the barn super late till eight o'clock at night or something. But we're gonna get milking started here. We're gonna take the milkers off the wash trays. We're gonna go and put the milk line into the milk tank right now. So let's get started. Parlor's right there, milk tank is right here, right beside it. We just gotta switch that line into the milk tank. This is the milk line. It's where all the milk goes into the tank and we gotta put it up into the milk tank. It's just in the wash setting right now. This is basically what runs wash water through the entire parlor and that's why we gotta put it on here. So before milking, gotta put it on there. There's also a safety switch here. So if this is not let go, meaning this system is still into wash mode, it won't actually let the milker turn on. So you can't make a mistake. This is kind of a safety switch or, you know, if a dummy switch, if you want to call it that. <laughs> so you see there's a bit of wash water still in there. We'll just let it flow out and then we'll hook it up. Now we can open the valve for the milk. See the pipe fills right up with milk. Take all of the milkers off their wash trays. So all the milkers are off the wash trays. Milk line is in the tank. Everything else is ready to go. Dima's grabbing the cows back there. He's gonna bring up group one into the holding area. Now we're just gonna put the parlor into milking mode. F1, enter. Puts her into section two. And then we can just walk over. To the parlor controls here. Milk. And turn the ADF milk claws on. Just went ahead and opened the door at the front of the parlor here. It's getting pretty warm outside. Snow is melting. It's pretty nice, you can just open the door right in front of the parlor, let tons of air flow through. Before the cows show up, we're gonna put on some milking gloves. Here they come, running into the parlor. Go ahead and close the door on the back. Look at this cow, she's already just spraying milk on the ground. So we're gonna wait right up till 345. And this afternoon we're milking about 305 cows. This is gonna take us about two and a half to three hours, depending on how smooth it goes. Sometimes cows do some weird things and makes it take a little bit longer. That's just part of it. Usually it's pretty quick though. So around two and a half hours in the afternoon. So this is a really slow cow. I'm gonna hang her under quite a bit before 345 here, just cause she takes so much longer.
once the cows come up into the parlor, we have basically a prep routine where we prep the cow for milking, then we hang it under. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a towel and we're gonna wipe their teats clean. It's kind of like a dish towel. We wash them after every single milking and we just wipe the cow's teats clean. We don't use a pre-dip. We don't think it's necessary for us. Uh, we have sand beds too. We think that helps, but um, we just wipe them clean and then we strip the teats, make sure the milk is good. Then we hang the milkers under. Stripping the cow's teats not only allows us to check out the milk before we hang the milker under, make sure it's good, but it also starts the process of the cow letting their milk go. So if you were just to hang a milker under, she wouldn't milk out as quickly or as consistently as if you prepped her, stripping the milk out for a little bit, and you kind of prepare the udder for milking and the cow lets her milk go. So it's now 3.45, so we're gonna go and hang the first milkers under here. So we just gotta click this button, lift them up. I already lifted this one up because uh, that cow needs to be hung under. Just to activate the milk claw and get the suction going, you just lift the milker and then it automatically turns on. So we always just clean six and then hang six under and then clean the next six and hang the next six under. The reason why we do this, we don't wanna clean all 12 at once because they're gonna to start to let their milk go and they're gonna start spraying it on the ground like crazy. If you don't hang it under that quickly, she is already spraying her milk. But if we clean them all and just let them there for two minutes or something, uh, a lot of cows would start spraying their milk and you'd actually lose quite a decent amount. The cameraman. <laughs> Funny. Click this button, lifts up all the milkers. And then all you gotta do to activate the milk claw is you just gotta lift it and you can hang it under the cow. So the first six are hung under there. We'll grab six more towels, start cleaning the next one. So the side's all done milking. Yo. We have what is called a vertical lift parlor. So all of those sequencing gates go straight up when we let the cows out. And we'll open the back gate and let some more cows in again. It takes anywhere between five to eight minutes to milk a cow out completely, but it varies a lot between each cow. Some cows may take 10 or 15 minutes. Those are really slow milkers. We try not to milk those because they just slow the entire process down, but that's how long it takes to milk a typical cow. So these milk claws are pretty cool. They automatically dip the cow's teats as they come off. We'll check it out here. They also automatically come off. They sense once the cow slows down, stops giving milk and then it automatically comes off and applies the post dip or T dip. So you can see that's that orange stuff, it's iodine. And that's that disinfectant that's sprayed on the cow's teat when she's done being milked. So that ensures that her udder is not gonna get infected after milking time. 
Didn't want that to happen. We'll watch it here again. Just like that. The cow is dipped. It's taken off. So once an entire line is done, we just hit the up button and that kicks them out. So a little bit about the milk claw here. This is a soft silicone liner and it goes on the inside of this plastic shell as well. And that's kind of pulsating as you hang it underneath the cow. So it helps milk them out. And that's how these things work. There's also a clear shell. And then we can see if there's actually milk coming out of the cow's udder still. And we can see when she's empty, so. Also there's a little nozzle in there. And that sprays the iodine, you can see it right there. And that's also what cleans the milk and claw out after she's done being milked. Our cows are averaging anywhere between 36 to 37 liters a day right now, which is pretty good for us. We're happy with that. And uh, cow's lactation is 305 days, so she'll be milked for 305 days, and then she'll be dried off. She'll take her two month vacation there when she's in the dry cow pen. But within that 305 day lactation, cows can produce anywhere around 10,000 liters of milk for a young cow. And older cows, they typically produce a lot more milk. Some will produce 15, maybe even 18,000 liters of milk within their 305 day lactation, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. So once the cows are let go, once the rapid exit is lifted up, they head down this return alley here, which is just beside the holding area. This return alley is six feet wide, so two cows can fit beside each other. A lot of these return alleys and parlors were made three feet wide, just wide enough for one cow to go through. Um, and this makes it so that if one cow decides she's not gonna walk through anymore, the entire line of cows is stopped. So if you have it this wide, uh, two cows can always fit. And you never know, maybe if you need to get a skid steer up into the parlor for whatever reason, maybe a cow went down. It happens very rarely, but you can do a lot with a skid steer if you need to help a cow out like that, lift her up. So that's handy as well. Then the two return alleys on both sides of the parlors, they get together right here. And then all the cows walk through a sort gate. And then we can enter in the computer if we want a cow sorted out or anything like that. And you can see right there, there's a lady, she's sorted. So we're gonna look at her when we're done milking here. And then further on, there's actually also a foot bath there as well. Let's take a quick look at it here. And then this is the foot bath. So yeah, then they go back into the barn here where the cows actually live. So we're in the basement of the parlor right now. It's directly below upstairs is where the cows are standing right now. And down here we have all of the milking equipment. So there's pulsation boxes. That's a box up there for the automatic dipping and the automatic flushing milk claw. These are milk meters. They meter exactly how much volume each cow produced and it records it and sends it back to our herd management computer so we can keep a really good eye on the cow's production. So. It also measures how quickly the milk is coming out of the cow. So you can see F means flow, and it was around seven there. So it also measures how quickly the cow is being milked out. And that's kind of how it knows how to take the milker off. Once that flow gets down to maybe one when the cow is almost empty, that's how it knows when to take that milker off. This is also the main milk line right here. So you can feel it, super warm. And it goes all the way around the basement into the receiver jar, which is just around the corner here. So all the milk goes into here, goes through this pump, and then it goes up this milk line, and then this one goes right to the milk tank upstairs. 
And yeah, that's our basement. So those are the last cows from group one. We're gonna go and grab group two now. So group one, which is on that side of the barn over there, uh, those are all older milking cows. So they've already had at least two calves. And then the west side of the barn here, group two, are a bunch of younger heifers. So they're on their first calf. They're a lot smaller. They're less tame or less used to going through the parlor in general. So they're a little bit more timid to milk. But they're still a really good group. So that's group two. It's a little bit smaller than group one. It's about 145 cows in here maybe. Group one is 155. So I'm gonna go and clean the barn out, scrape the alleys, rake the beds, then I'll come back and finish milking. We're getting close to being done milking here. The last line from group two is in the parlor there. Now we still have to milk our special needs straw pack. It's just over there. We'll bring them up into the parlor right now. So the special needs pack is exactly what it sounds like. Any cows that maybe don't do so well in the freestyle barn. If there's any cows we're trying to keep a really close eye on. Maybe some cows don't eat through the head lockers in the main cow barn. We keep them separate here. And it's really close to the milking parlor. Easy to bring them up into there. This is a fresh cow, she just calved. She is also fresh. We'll usually leave our fresh cows on the straw pack here for a day, maybe two if they need to, and then we'll put them into the freestall barn. So the special needs pack is only a couple cows in here. I think there's eight right now. So we just move them underneath the crowd gate and we'll drop it. You can drop it. You can see this cow right here has red tags and that's because she's a treated cow. So we must've given her penicillin. Maybe she got a little bit sick, but we can't put that milk into the main milk tank because we're not allowed to ship any milk that contains any antibiotics or any medicine or any painkillers or anything like that in it. So every single milk tank that's picked up from our farm is tested to make sure that it doesn't have any of that stuff in there. So what we do, we use one of these cans, we hook it into the main milk line and basically it diverts the milk, holds it in this bucket right here. And you can see the milk is right there. And this keeps it separate so that it doesn't go into the main milk line and into the milk tank. We put the red tags on there so we know which one cows are which. And then yeah, we just gotta milk milk. So once the cans are full, we just carry them to the back corner of the parlor. And then we have this blue hose, the valve there. And we drop it in there, it sucks it down into the basement. And then the basement pumps it to the pasteurizer. So right up here is the gutter. You can see it, it's getting flushed out right now. That's where the cows crap onto when they're standing in the milking parlor actually getting milk so that they don't crap on our arms or on any of the milkers. Hopefully the gutter catches it. This one's completely rinsed out now though. Then the other thing we'll do is we'll hit these buttons. There's three valves in here and it flushes all the crap down to the back gutter, flushes out the holding area. These decks up here as well. recycled water this makes the cleaning process super easy super quick so all the cows have left the parlor now we're all done milking cleanup starts got the fire hose unrolled we're just gonna fire hose everything clean
morning guys the parlor is now in wash mode so all of the lines are getting cleaned in the basement up here in the milk and parlor all the way to the bulk tank and that line that's underneath the milk tank that we saw right at the beginning of today's video all of it's getting washed uh, they go through I think like seven or eight cycles of wash going through all of those lines so they get cleaned right out 100% clean and um, yeah that's it for milking cows in our farm uh, it's a pretty fun job you can just focus on milking takes about three hours with cleaning and everything all in and um, you kind of forget everything else you just milk the cows it's pretty awesome all the time so I prefer the morning shift I'm a morning person versus a night person I just like getting it done nice and early in the morning and then you got the rest of the day to do stuff if you're milking in the afternoon you know you're here till 7 30 at night maybe and then it kind of just drags your day out way longer but um, yeah 365 days a year this is what we do on our farm thank you guys very much for watching today's video if you like this hoodie you can check it out at farmfocus.com uh, linked in the top of the description and i hope to see you guys in the next video thanks for watching